Problem Solving, Show Numbers in Different Ways, Lesson 6.8. Making a model can help us show a number in different ways. Models help us to find different ways to combine tens and ones. We can draw models. We can make our own models. So we can just draw a rod of 10 and little squares for a unit. We can also get construction paper and make a rod of 10 and some little units. We can show a number in different ways. 25. That's going to be two tens, see, and five ones. We can also break one of these tens up and put it on the one side. So we have just one ten and fifteen ones. This five and this five makes a ten. We just broke one of those up into units, and now we have fifteen ones instead of five ones. We can use models to show the number 63 two different ways. 63 can be six tens, one, two, three, four, five, six, and three ones. We can also take one of these bars of 10 and break it into ones and put it on the one side. See, here's the 10 that we broke into units. Now we have five tens and 13 ones. That's still 63. We can show 32 in two different ways. We can show it as three tens and two ones, just like it's written, three tens and two ones. Or we can take one of these tens and break it up into ten ones and put it on the one side. Here we have three tens and two ones, and here we have two tens and twelve ones, because that ten was broken up and taken from the tens. See? We can show 28 in two different ways. We can show it with two tens and eight ones, two tens and eight ones. We can also take this 10 and break it up into 10 ones and put it on the one side. Then we'll have one 10 and 18 ones. We still have 28 units. Write an equation, write a number sentence to solve. There are 17 children in a classroom. Some children are boys. Nine children are girls. How many are boys? Now, if you look, it's saying that that's how many boys will go right here. It's asking us to find the difference between 17 and 9. And difference is the answer in a subtraction problem, isn't it? So the 17 is going to be our minuend. It's going to be a minus, and we know that nine children are girls. That means the rest are boys. If we take away the nine girls, we'll know how many boys there are. We can draw 17 counters for the 17 children in the class, and we can take away the nine children that are girls. We can cross them out. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. The ones that are left are the boys. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There's eight boys. We knew it was a subtraction sentence because we needed to find the difference between the girls and how many children were in the class. Here's a riddle. I am a number less than 47. I have four tens and some ones. What numbers can I be? So the first thing I notice is it says numbers. That means there's going to be more than one answer. It's less than 47, so it can't be 47. It's got to come in front of 47. It comes before 47. It says it has four tens and some ones. The number that's just smaller than 47 is 46, and it has four tens, and it has six ones. That fits. The number that comes in front of 46 is 45. 
See how the ones place is getting smaller? It is four tens and some ones. The number that comes before 45 is 44. It has four tens and some ones. We're going to go one smaller with the ones place, so that'll be a three. It's got four tens, so it's 43. The next one smaller would be a two, wouldn't it? And it has four tens. Now, it said that it has some ones. See how the ones has an S at the end? So if we wrote 41 here, that means it only has one one. It said it has some ones, more than one. So this one can't count. It only has one one, and it's supposed to have some ones. So what numbers can I be? It could be 42, 43, 44, 45, or 46. Those numbers are all less than 47, and they have four tens and some ones. We can choose all the ways that show the same number. Here we have a bar of 10, a rod of 10, and another rod of 10. So we have two tens. And how many ones do we have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. There's fourteen ones. How many are there in all? Ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five. 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34. Two tens and 14 ones is the same as 34. We can take this one ten from the 14 and give it to the tens place. So there'll be three tens and four ones, see? So we need to find which one of these is the same as 34. Does this one show 34? It has one, two, three tens and four ones. Yeah, we can fill this in because it shows 34. Does this one show 34? We have two tens, so that's 20. 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29. No, that's not 34. What about this one? Does this show 34? We have one 10 here, and we've got another one here. We've got another one here, because 5 plus 5 makes a 10, doesn't it? So we have one, two, three tens, and one, two, three, four ones. That does make 34. That's three tens and four ones. So that one is a way to show 34 also, isn't it? How about this one? Does this show three tens and four ones? One, two, three tens. Are those four ones? No. So the only ones that show the same number as this one was this example and this example. We can show the number 41 in many ways. If this is a rod of 10, and that's a 1. We can make four tens and one 1. That makes 41. We can break one of these rods of 10 into 10 ones and have three tens and 11 ones. That'll make 41. We could break another rod of 10 into some ones and have two tens and 21 ones. That would make 41. We could break another this other rod of 10 into some ones and have one 10 and 31 ones. That would make 41. So we can show a number in other ways by taking one of the rods of 10 and breaking it into ones. See? Our next lesson is going to be model, read, and write numbers from 100 to 110. That's lesson 6.9. See if you can make your own models of rods of 10 and some ones with construction paper. 
You can make them any color you want. I'll see you next time. Have a great day. Bye.